and we're back with another episode of our review of the games from RPGMaker.net's Commonplace Book event, which was the October 2021 Halloween event, game making event. Uh, today we are going to be playing or reading uh, 13 meters and one quarter. How uh, I butchered the pronunciation on that. Let me. I think it was like 13 meters and one quarter. Yeah. Yeah. 13 meters one quarter is how it's pronounced. Um, visual novel written in Renpai, so this won't really be gameplay as much as. And let's change that to English. Um, so, description. A brand new episode of my visual novels around the world. I've already invited you to Finland and Russia during other events. This time we're leaving Europe. We will go far away to the Samoan Islands. Um, there's kind of a bit here from the author. Uh, that is Flo, F-F-L-O. You can see kind of their logo down in this corner. Um, at first, I wanted to create a Pokemon game in which the main character wakes up in an unknown island, but five days later I wasn't convinced by what I've done, so now I'm working on some sort of Harry Potter parody. Starts funny, but gets creepy. So it sounds like this is kind of be going to be like a mix of comedy, uh, horror. Connor Ogawe is a young Irish boy. He signed in Merkwartz, a sorcery school located in the Samoan Islands. Merkwartz is exactly 13 meters and one quarter deep inside a cavern. Everything seems normal until a professor is found dead in the school. She was magically mutilated. Mushrooms grew inside her nose, roots are coming from her ears, and a third leg has appeared in the middle of her back. Connor has two choices. Flee the murderer, or flee Merkwartz with two. Uh, sorry, find the murderer, or flee Merkwartz with two other people. No matter the choice, cries of agony will echo inside the cavern. And there's a gameplay section, but this is visual novel, so not really much in the way of gameplay. Looks like there's going to be one choice, which uh, I'll. Uh, we can just find that out as we go on. What a nice place! This island is like like a paradise. The bad news is I didn't come here to take some vacation, nor to dive. And by the way, I'm Connor Ogawe, and I'm aged 12. I've left my lovely Ireland to go to the American Samoa. The trip has been long, but here I am. You may be wondering why a young Irish boy like me went alone in an island of the Pacific Ocean on a whim. I hope that you won't mock me. I'm starting school. At Merkwartz, a magic school. Were the founders fans of the Harry Potter universe to create a sorcerer school with almost the same name in the real life? I should ask them. A few months ago, when my parents received a leaflet of the school advertising its program, they first thought that it was April Fools. Um, join Merkboards and form yourself to the jobs of magic. Magician, Cartomancian, Oniromancian, Astromancian, Accountant at the Department of Magic, etc. So that would be like something similar to astrology and divination relating to maps. Not sure what an oniromancy would be. The list of opportunities was four lines long. Couldn't remember them all. After some long and difficult negotiations, I've convinced my parents to sign me in there. 
regular middle school. Not too many problems if I leave the school. I have A's in all of subjects, and my IQ of 147 might be the cause of it. So I'm not really familiar enough with, uh... I wonder what islands those... I presume that previous background was actually Samoa, maybe. Um... And I was completely recognizing this track when it was playing also at the starting menu, but I can't remember what it's from. Uh, maybe it's a default RPG Maker thing that's being used, or it might be from a different, um, from a diff from a, like an actual RPG. Now I have to find the school. I've been told to go to the Cycloport Cavern and exactly go down 13 meters and one quarter deep. Once again, they were probably inspired by the Harry Potter universe and its nine and three quarters station. However, I may catch a cold underground. They should have asked for warm clothes on the list of supplies. Temperature may even not be above 10 degrees. Connor's steps echo in the cavern. Weak candles light the only way. But where are the others? Connor seems to be alone. So that's kind of a weird thing, like, you know, just com completely breaking the narrative here on my end with commentary during the scene. But, like, that's kind of a weird... Because he was already narrating, narrating in first person, and now it switches to a third person person narration, which is kind of off. Usually you'd stick to one or the other. Two meters. Four meters. Six meters. Eight meters. Connor's nervosity increases as he doesn't see anyone on his way. Thirteen meters. Connor stops and looks around him. Not even a trace of an entry to Merkborg's. Damn it, did I get tricked? So Merkborg's would be a hoax? Unless the entrance is hidden, what should I try? And we are going to do the visual novel thing of saving literally everywhere. Um. Let's try waiting, because I feel like they would have given us more instructions if there was other stuff we needed to do. It's cold, but someone will come sooner or later. And then we froze to death. Connor won't have to wait for too long. He hears steps echoing from behind the wall. Click. Click. The rock wall disappears and shows... Merkwartz's entrance. Connor is mixed between surprise and amazement. So, Merkwartz is the sorcerer school hidden in a cavern at 13 meters and one quarter deep. An old woman appears in front of Connor. Furuncle, Fer hooked nose, green skin. She's a witch, but a trendy witch with a beret. Connor doesn't really know how to react. Scream or be polite? I, I mean, don't scream at your teachers. Hello, madam. Young boy, welcome. I'm Shormi Zeri, the headmistress. You only had to push the striped rock to unlock the path. I've seen it at first. I thought it was painted just to decorate. Who are you, young boy? Connor Ogawe. I'm coming from Ireland. I've already visited your country. It was fascinating. Oh yeah, I agree. 
I spent 10 days traveling in the whole country. Irish people are very homely. I find their accent very charming. And there's a lot of ginger in Ireland. Okay. So are we talking about the spice or... Uh, here's one more in front of you. Follow me. I will take you to the Hall of Murkwards. Connor follows Miss Zeri through a long corridor leading to the inside of Murkwards. Mr. Ogawe, welcome to Murkwards. Connor is amazed by what he's seeing. A school installed deep inside a cavern. The little underground river is clearly the point of interest. Your main teachers will come in around ten minutes. I suggest you meet other pupils. Maybe they will have things to tell you. Miss Zeri is moving away. Hmm. Do I really have to be befriend the other pupils? Friendship is not my cup of tea. A friend is more a burden than a help, and friendship isn't eternal, usually. But if she insists, I will try to get closer to someone anyways. Connor looks his surroundings and sees three pupils of his age a little isolated. They seem to be reluctant to meet the others, too. To his left, a brunette. Leaned against the wall, she's humming a song with assurance. In front of Connor, a boy dressed as a nerd. Nerds have low reputation as they are lame. I take offense to that. Uh, but the boy doesn't care and he, he assumes his style. And to the young Irish's right, a girl with a crutch. Why does she have a crutch? Connor could ask her about it, even if it would be quite intrusive. Uh, so with the art style, that guy kind of reminds me of the, uh, what's his name, the Jeff from Earthbound. Uh, let's talk to girl number one. Connor moves towards the humming girl like Ulysses' companions, charmed by the sirens. Sup? You're singing well. I'm Connor Ogawe. Who are you? Patricia. I'm Patricia Goldsound. Glad to meet you, and thanks for the compliment. What did make you to sign in Murkworts? I've heard that the school has a choir. I'd like to live as a singer. Uh, become a witch to join a... Other schools also have choirs, but... Sure. I mean, I'd, I'd totally go to a magic school if offered the choice. To sell millions of discs? You would sing in a dynamic way like Shakira, or in a gloomy way like... Uh, Amy Winehouse. So I think that's would you sing. Uh, it's too soon to give you an answer right now. In my own opinion, you're not just interested by the choir. Why did you sign in Merkworts and nowhere else? Really a fan of Harry Potter. When I learned that a school would be open, I jumped at the opportunity. Yep, this girl knows she knows what she's doing. There is something I don't know, though. Merkworts is in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. I'm living in France. The leaflet said that the school was located in the American Samoa. But that's not bad. I'm in a similar situation. I've left Cork. Ah. If there was another school in Europe, I wouldn't have felt homesick. Yeah. Friends? Okay. Okay, we got a like friend fanfare there. 
social link go. The customary go to your class foghorn has sounded. Come on, come on, go to your classrooms. Uh, first year in the super room. Once again, this headmistress seems to be not telling us, like, didn't tell us how to get into the cave, didn't tell us how to, where our classrooms are. Second year in Lifragi. Third year in Listisex. Fourth year in Pylid. And fifth year in Osios. Okay, yeah, I see. Super ca lefragia listic listic expialidocious. That is an odd way to break up that, but did not catch that at first. Would not have caught that if he hadn't commented that. Uh, Patricia, Miss Zeri, scared her, me with her green skin. Uh, I would not be saying that out loud, Connor. Shh. She may be old, but I think she can still hear well. After this warning from Patricia about Shermy Zeri's possibly grumpy temper, Connor doesn't say any word and moves towards the super cat room. That is a surprisingly modern-looking classroom for magic school. Um, and a surprisingly chemistry? Yeah, because that's like... Those seem to be... They're either doing, like, math, and that's a geometric proof, or they're doing, like, molecular bonding diagrams. Connor finds out which people will be with him for the next nine months. A sneak peek makes him distinguish some original profiles. He sees the nerd who was alone in the hall. He will be alone again in the classroom. He doesn't seem to worry about it. The girl with the crutch naturally sits at the closest table to the entrance. Connor and Patricia sit next to each other to celebrate their new friendship. So I'm kind of gathering that there's, like, more than just these four, and... Like, because he indicated that those three were just the ones he was considering talking to because they were alone. The professor is entering the classroom. He seems to be young. Connor was expecting to take classes from a grumpy old man who would have been angry for petty reasons. And he doesn't have the normal have the physical traits of a sorcerer he looks like something someone normal hello this is mr era and i will be your main teacher this year cole era i feel that that has like cuz like now based on the um The names of the classrooms, I'm wondering if, like, everything is a pun now. Cole era. Uh, Shermie's, Shermie's Zeri. Shermie's Zeri. Yeah. Watch out, I have telepathy powers. Please do not think to things which are not directly related to mathematics. I will know it. Mr. Era is almost normal, actually. Would not be thinking that right now, but... The main benefit of telepathy is I won't have to link each name with each face. I would read in your mind to find out who you are. I've applied to play Simon Baker's role in Mentalist, but I was too good for it. And now I'm teaching mathematics in a supposed sorcerer school. Hidden deep in 13.25 meters deep, or 53 quarters. Damn it. Ah, don't pay attention to what I've said. I was thinking out loud. I just noticed, do we not have music right now? Yeah. 
Hmm. We're going to start from the first chapter about numeration. Mr. Era's class goes by. Some got caught thinking about something else than math. Mr. Era's ability to is useful to handle his class, but sometimes it's intrusive. Ding ding dong. Pupils quietly leave the classroom to wind down in the hall. That was like watching the news stampede in the Lion King. So like the the wildebeest. Nope, nope. L we're talking about Linux now. Linux killed Mufasa. But I shouldn't compare people to animals. Only Connor and Patricia take their time. Why rushing off? Together, they move towards the hall. On the way, Patricia suggests something strange to Connor. I need to go to Merkwartz's choir. Do you know how to sing? Um... You know, I saved way back at this choose what to do at the door and did not win we were selecting who our best friend was going to be, which is probably the most important choice in the story. Oops. Um, yeah, I'm kind of like neither good nor bad. Like everybody, you know? Connor and Patricia's paths split. Patricia moves towards the music class for the choir. Connor moves away to the back of Merkwartz for his first sorcery class. Young boys, young girls, hello. For those who didn't meet me yet, I'm Shermie Zeri, the headmistress. Miss Zeri gives Connor a strange smile who feels uncomfortable. At first, I wished you would have worn sorcerer uniforms, but Merkwartz didn't have enough money for it. I started a crowdfunding campaign on the internet to finance the uniforms. But I just got $50 out of the fixed goal of 3000 And it was J.K. Rowling in person who made the only donation. At least she recognized the utility of our Samoan underground school. First to cast a spell, the words need to rhyme. An example? With this spell I am capable to make levitate my table. Miss Zeri's spell made her table float up to the roof. The class is amazed. Your goal this year is to cast spells like the one I've done. But before we begin, you must know the history of sorcery. Miss Zeri talks during two long hours. History of sorcery to the prehistory to the modern times. Yes, sorcery existed during the prehistory. Maybe you didn't know this, but it was a sorcerer who caused the extinction of dinosaurs. He unwittingly casted a terrible ice age which devastated everything on Earth. Ding ding dong. Uh, the class is over already? I didn't even see the time pass. It means I was interested. Connor leaves Miss Zeri's class alone. He would like to tell Patricia how his class passed. Something terrible has happened while Connor was in sorcery class. That's terrible. Who did this? Pupils and professors are heavily shocked when they discover the dead body of a professor abandoned near the lockers. Huh, I wonder if it was that girl we knew who suspiciously went off elsewhere. Um. That kind of felt like it came out of nowhere, like... You'd usually think that there'd be, like, a bunch of building up towards the, like, you know, building a sense of dread before the reveal, but I don't know. The professor was mutilated magically mutilated. 
but the scene is atrocious anyways. Mushrooms came out from the nose. Roots grew from inside the ears. Hair doesn't fall and float in midair. A third leg is present. It starts from the middle of the back. And her face is blue. She got strangled. Calm down, calm down. Because of this terrible event, classes are cancelled for this afternoon. You must go in your dorms until the truth is finally established for this murder. Don't worry, the canteen personal will give you me your meal. Now, it is strictly forbidden to leave your dorm, except for an emergency. I will ensure that I will be with you. Who is she? I'm scared. Call the police. Pupils are torn between curiosity and fear. So, I will tell you who she was. Juliet Eterno, Eterno Goni, aka Juliette Goni. Come on, move away, the halls are dangerous. All pupils move towards their dorms. This tragic story will be in every conversation. The dorms are not mixed. Connor won't be able to discuss with Patricia about this murder.